If we could build the world, what would it look like? If we could explore farther, where would you go? If we could invent anything, would it change everything? Engineers build the impossible. Scientists make dreams real. Mathematicians solve mysteries beyond the known world. And with new technology, magic is everywhere. We are the future. There are no limits. Go anywhere. So, you're interested in STEM? Think you want to be a scientist? Or would you rather work with technology? Or are you making plans to be an engineer? Or is math your favorite? Check out these stories about people who are just like you. And now they have their dream job. You could design, you could build, and you, can, you could dream up these, these crazy ideas and then you, you figure out how to make them uh, real, make them practical, and make them work. My name is Sean Smith. I'm the maintenance supervisor at New Course Steel, Louisiana. Uh, my granddad was an engineer, my dad's an engineer, and my older sister is an engineer as well. I started off working at 12 years old on the farm. By the time I was 13, I was driving 10 wheelers and operating $150,000 pieces of equipment. I knew then that's the path that I wanted to take. I, I never deviated from that plan. I'd say to dream big, number one, and to stay focused on your future. You know, pay attention to what's in front of you, but also look down the road and try to plan ahead and that will benefit you long term. Instead of going to my local state university, I went to the United States Military Academy, and uh, from there I was commissioned into the Army and I served eight years. My name is Aaron Tapleman, and I'm a melt shop mill engineer at Newcore Steel, Kankakee. So growing up, you know, a lot of kids when they're in elementary school, middle school are like, oh, I want to be a teacher or I want to be a doctor someday. And I was just like, I just like working hard. I like you know, seeing the results of my effort. I like working in a team. Majoring in engineering or any like technology field gives you a different way of looking at things. So when you're in Afghanistan and your generator on your base goes down and the contractor's out there working on it, when he's explaining it, you kind of understand what he's talking about. If you know what you want to do, go after it. But if you don't know, there, there, there's no better field to, to get involved in, you know, a general engineering program or, you know, a, a general, general science or, shoot, even, even math. You're going to be sought after if you have that type of education. I got to see a lot of, a lot of cool things. I mean, I got to do a lot of things that a lot of people don't get to do. I mean, got to jump out of airplanes, but first time I walked in and saw them drop a charge into that furnace and fire it up. I mean, it was like nothing I'd ever seen before, and I get to do that every day. I get to interact with a whole bunch of different people. I get to see things explode. I get to get dirty. That's what I love about my job. My name is Megan Miller. I work for New Course Steel Decatur, Material Handling Supervisor. Originally I went to be a doctor because I was really only good at science and math and then they had like this engineering open house. I went to it and went to all the different fields, mechanical, electrical, civil, and found that material science interested me the most. I get to do a lot of big experiments and everybody goes, oh, the furnaces are awesome, it blows up. And I was like, no, the caster is really, really awesome because it's the most technical and it goes from liquid to solid. And there's all kinds of stuff that can happen. It's just really fascinating. Never, ever thought I'd work in a steel mill, thought I would work in a lab, and I'm so happy that my life has ended up the way it has because I can't imagine working in a lab now, being around all the cool stuff that I'm around. My grandfather on my father's side, he had a uh, the welding fabrication shop. Uh, my name is Eric Rayburn, uh, electrical lead too. I work at Newcore Steel in Jewett, Texas. I learned how to weld at a very young age. 
I go out there in his shop and play around. Of course, it wasn't nowhere near his quality, but but I enjoyed it even at a young age. At New Core Jewett, you know, we take it from scrap and completely charge it into our furnace. Uh, approximately 95 tons at a time, melted down much larger scale. Uh, send it out in a billet and send it to the roll mill and we we'll roll it in a finished product. And making a product that, that you see later and you know that went into the highways we drive on, the buildings that we build. It was the same way driving through town, our hometown, and seeing the ornamental iron that my grandfather had made. In some aspects, it's still alive. Don't let anybody tell you no. Just, just go for it. I'm originally from Lagos, Nigeria. That's, that's home for me. My name is Olawale Adebi. I'm the Production Day Supervisor at New Steel, Louisiana. The, Nigeria is a very you know, poverty-stricken country, unfortunately. Yeah, there's, there was a lot of you know, hard, hard lives, hard lessons. When you go out to the markets, you go to the neighborhoods and you see children that you know, don't, are not very fortunate. So I got to see a lot of that growing up. Got to the United States, it was snowing, the first time I've ever seen snow in my life. We entered a train and we didn't even know where we were going. It's night and day. Nigeria compared to the United States, at least at the time, let's imagine coming from a place where you have traffic jams every day and you have people walking the streets and there's just a dense population. And then you come into somewhere that is so organized and you know, you see stoplights, you see tunnels, you see bridges. You see a lot of infrastructure and it was so different. I always encourage folks that, that I want to work in, in engineering, science and technology. It's, it's the cutting edge of, of the future. From where I came from, I think I've been very successful. I think I've worked very hard. I've been able to work on a project that I never imagined I'd be working on. If you go back to my um, high school records, they're not stellar. Um, I, wasn't, I wasn't the best student, like I said, but I didn't let that affect me. And, I made a personal decision to be, to be successful. And when I made that decision, I could change my destiny, right? And I think anybody that is having a hard time with their grades or, you know, are not really feeling they're doing their best, should really look internally and say, look, you can make a decision to make a change. And all those things will be what they are in the past, um, as long as you make the decision to move forward. Your response to that failure that you're experiencing is gonna determine how successful you are in the long run. We are a nation that makes and builds things. Let the next big thing be yours.